Hello, my name's Linda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I'm making a card and um, a box for the card, or more than one card actually, and a box for the cards to go in. And this is for the Creators Blog Hop, and the theme for this month is um, Bye Bye Celebration. So, this is the last month that you can get a a celebration item so spend 45 pound you get to you receive an item of your choice from the celebration items that are available and I'm going to be using by the bay this is the stamp set one of the celebration items I'm using that today I'm also going to be using the whisper white note cards and envelopes which are not a celebration but they're in the annual catalog and here is my um, my card and my envelope, so my note card and my envelope, I'm going to be decorating both. So I'm going to be using Blueberry Bushel. I've actually also used um, Knight of Navy. So I've got a couple of layers here, and this layer is 4 and 7 eighths by 3 and 3 eighths, and then I have a Whisper White, which is 4 and 3 quarters by 3 and a quarter. So, and they are going to go, one's going to go on top of the other, as I just said, they're going to layer up. And I'm going to be decorating this one first. So I'm going to be pulling in this lovely house stamp set here. It's not set, it's a stamp. And I'm going to be using Blueberry Bushel. This is actually a simple stamping card. It's just one colour ink and paper. And obviously a stamp set. So I'm going to get that. I've not got it on my um, block straight, but I'm going to get my house straight. And then that is going to go right down the bottom of my card. There we go. And then using the thank you, I'm going to put that there. Okay, so it couldn't be more simple than that. Let's come in. And then on the inside of my note card, I'm going to stamp the little shell. And I've just put the ink away. Got a bit carried away there. So on the inside, I'm just going to put the little shell just in the corner there, just for a little bit of decoration. And then on my envelope, I've got these lovely birds, little seagulls. You can see it on that side. And I'm going to stamp those along the top of my envelope there. Okay, so that's my envelope decorated, and then it's just a case of sticking this together. As I said, this is a very quick, simple. I didn't say that, did I? It is simple stamping, so it is quick and simple. And I'm making a box of thank you cards, or you could you could put a different sentiment there. This um, actual stamp set comes with um, thinking of you and may all your paths lead to happiness. But if you've got a birthday stamped, you could just stick a birthday on there as well. And then I'm just going to stick this to the front of my note card. Oh, it's suddenly got very stormy outside from being very sunny. It is now raining. It looks like it might get a storm. Very changeable. Okay, and that is my card and my envelope. And I've also, I've done one in Night of Navy. And I've also done an envelope on the back of that one. I just put the little shell. I've put the little shell inside there as well. So I'm just going to put those together. And I'm going to make a box for these to go in. I'm also going to be decorating the top of the box. So I've actually got some... I'm doing Knight of Navy. You can obviously do whatever colour you like. So the Knight of Navy layer is 3 and 3 quarters by 5 and a quarter. My Whisper White layer... It's three and a half by five, and that's going to go on top there. And then I've used the Be Mine um, dies to cut out a white heart, and then it has this lovely edging. So I've done the edging in Knight of Navy and the heart in white, obviously. And then I am going to do some stamping over this, and I need 
just pull something in. I'm going to do this in um, Knight of Navy, but again, you can choose whatever colour you want to use. So I'm just going to um, stamp onto my Whisper White with my goals. Now, as I always say, I can't actually look over because my camera is literally here. I can't get my head over to see where I'm stamping, so try and stamp this straight. Okay, so I've just, as you can see, I've just stamped the whole of that, covered it all in my seagulls. I'm just going to bring my heart in now and the back to the house stamp and then I'm going to get my house down the bottom of my heart here I don't want the whole picture in so it's just if you can see that just in the corner of my heart and I'm going to put the thank you there as this is going to be a thank you gift ok put that to one side and now I'm going to be bringing I'm going to make the box now Okay, so now I'm going to make the box, and I am using um, thick Whisper White, and this is 11 inches by 7.5 inches, and I'm going to do a bit of scoring, and I'm going to be scoring at um, 1 inch, and I'm going to do my 1 inch on this side, and then I'm just going to turn it round, and then I'm going to score at 2 inches. six inches and seven inches okay. and then I'm going to turn it so we've now got it portrait so we've got it at a seven and a half inch side and we're going to score at one inch again so I'm going to do it on this side it's easier to do one inch on this side and six and a half inches which is actually one inch so it's one inch from each side I hope that's, that's not been too confusing okay so now I've done my scoring we have four small squares so I've got one, two, three, four on, on all of these squares we're going to score a line so just I've just got my little um, my little scorey tool here, scoring tool, and I'm going from this corner. Can you see? Let's come in more. That's better. So I'm going to go from this corner to that corner, up there into a straight line. So I'm starting there. I'm going to put my ruler across there and just score like that. And so we're cutting a square into two triangles. I'm going to do that on the same on the other side. And we're always scoring out. So from there to there. And then the two down the bottom. Again, we're coming out this way. So we're scoring from that corner to that corner. And then again here to here. And now we're going to do some cutting. I've got my scissors. No, let's do some let's do some uh, burnishing first. So I'm just going to fold and burnish my score lines. Now I can't remember if I mentioned at the beginning of the video where I got this idea from and I will put it on my blog because I cannot remember so I found this um, I found this idea on Pinterest or maybe YouTube and then I've just adapted it to the size that I wanted and I can't remember who it was it might have been Pootles but I will, I will um, put that on my blog okay so now we need to do a little bit of cutting 
Let's get my scissors. So this is the end with two score lines, and the other, the other end hasn't got any. So we're going to be working at this end, and we're going to cut these little squares off. We do not need those squares, and that is all the cutting with our scissors that we're going to be doing. We are going to have a little bit of a punch as well. I'm going to do some punching. And then I've got my corner punch here and I'm just going to round these off, this little flap. And I'm going to stand up for this. Okay, so now we've got these, um, these just rounded off here. And then I have my three quarter inch punch circle here and on this flap I'm going to put punch a circle in the middle there. So I am just um, going to eyeball it. So in the middle of these, in the middle of this, so that's why I'm eyeballing there and then you want the score line in the middle of your circle. So you're actually cutting a circle like this so hopefully you can see that right and now I want to do the little score lines that we put in we're going to we're going to burnish those so we need to fold them in so and this one just push it in so it goes in like this okay and then I'm just going to get my bun folder in there and give it a quick burnish and then we're doing the same on the other side we're pushing those in and then burnishing burnishing on each side okay and so that is our little box so it comes this bit is pushed in like that so when you're doing it up you fold it over like this let's see if we can get our cards in there so you put your cards in and then you're folding it over and then this flap is going in here so this is meant to be a um, no glue box Okay, and that is going to be the box. So now I'm just going to decorate that. So this is going to be the front of the box here. And if I pull in my bits that we did earlier. So I have a piece of um, Knight of Navy that's going to fit on there. And then the piece of Wisp of White that we stamped with our Knight of Navy seagulls. I'm going to stick that onto the knife navy and obviously whatever colour you decide to make your cards in that is the colour scheme that you should go with for your box as well so I've, my cards are all really going to be shades of blue and so that is why I've gone for my knife of navy at the front well Okay, and that is going to go on the front there. And then that heart that we made earlier, it's got this little frill that goes around it. And I've stuck the little, the little edging on with some tear and tape. And if you can see that, I'll put tear and tape just on the edges there, just to hold the white and the blue cardstock together. But I'm not going to take the backing off that, I'm just going to leave it. Then I've put dimensionals all over the back there and I've already taken the backing off and I'm going to stick that heart into the middle of our card there and that's going to be the front of our box so I'm going to be putting the envelopes and the cards in here I've only got two at the moment but i um, actually planning on making four of them and then we can just fold this all up Oops. And there you go that is finished hope you liked this video um, 
and please have a go at making these cards even if you don't make the box the cards are so quick and easy to make um, and uh, as I said you could just change the thank you for happy birthday so don't forget this um, by the bay is only available to the end of March and then the celebration will be over until next year boo so um, if you want to place an order with me please go to my blog and um, you can place an order there and choose a free gift thanks for watching bye